Hello everyone, my name is Paolo Galavotti. I'm in charge in Pocland for Pump R&D and Product Portfolio Management. Hello everyone, my name is Nicolas Weber. I'm in charge of Functional Design and Physics at Pocland. Did you know about Pocland eDrum? This is about the electrification of road roller compactors, where the thermal engine has been replaced by an electric motor and battery. Pocklen approach is to master the complete system, including the main power transmission and component as an inverter, as an hydraulic motor, valves, and obviously pumps. Autonomy, optimization, and the associated use of electric battery are therefore a new challenge that Pocklen is turning as an opportunity for global system efficiency improvement. Regarding this, the focus on pump efficiency is even more relevant than before, considering the wider speed range and the working condition. This is a long journey that Pocklen started almost 10 years ago in collaboration with the HMA Fluid Power Research Center in Purdue. One of our expert engineers, Daniel Asko from Slovakia, went in HMA to lead a complete thesis on pump behavior and to learn about a specific simulation tool able to predict the axial pump efficiency in the all working conditions. In fact, the best axial piston machine must work in the highest efficiency level under all working conditions. The rated speed, the operating pressure, and the viscosity of the fluid are the main critical input parameters for the pump design. They change during the machine use and they are different from one application to another application. There are several different sources of power losses in the axial piston machine. There are volumetric losses as internal and external leakage and oil compressibility, but also hydraulic mechanical losses as viscous frictions, dry and mixed frictions, and churning losses from channeling pressure drops. For higher efficiency and high service life, volumetric and hydra hydraulic mechanical power losses coming from all sources in the given operating range of the machine should be minimized. It is even more mandatory for electrified machine. However, the generation of power losses is a complex multi-physics problem. Thermal and pressure deformation may have sometimes a magnitude of critical hydrofilm thickness between parts, reducing or even eliminating lubrication, leading to risk of seizure. The fluid structure and thermal interaction model combines calculation of the fluid pressure and temperature distribution with the elastic deformation of solid bodies. This tool is called Multix Caspar. Multix Caspar tool determines the gap flow and friction in all lubricating interface with variable gap heights. This is realized by solving the motion equation for all movable parts of the rotating group. Pump parts tolerances and clearances should be optimized according to the production capability and efficiency targets. This is a challenge. The complexity of this matter requires a strong collaboration and alignment between experimental test and numerical simulation, which are both proclaimed best expertise we can provide to our customers. Thanks to extensive use of Multix Caspar, Poclan can now optimize the pump design and efficiency for the most demanding applications such as electrified machines. This is a strong way to help our global customer and environment on the transition to the zero emission era.